Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel with your girl here for Lashade Taylor, aka Debbie Crest. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Well, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome. Still, you know how we do it here. I really love you guys. I really love you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. <sighs> guys, the year is almost running over. It's almost running to an end. I don't know why I said it's almost running over. Anyways, before we go on in this video, I want to introduce you guys to somebody, somebody my girl, my baby. <laughs> so I've actually introduced her to my people, my friends on WhatsApp and all, but I've not brought her here. So I said, let me introduce her. So this is Rafi. Rafi, say hi. <laughs> Anyways, that's just by the way. So you guys, today's video is a lot. It might be very long, but please bear with me. Please, please, please bear with me. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a lot of things. I'm going to be boxing some Christmas gifts that I got from people. And I'll also be answering the question and answer. You know, I uploaded a question tag a time ago, some weeks ago, or if not last week. So I'm going to be answering those as well. Because I don't want to cross over to next year. Like, can I just answer it and get it over with? So yeah, and I'm going to be sharing information as regards the giveaway as well yes yeah, so this is basically going to be the last video for this year <sighs> i know i did a good job this year and i know that by next year we're going to do better so we're going to do a little bit of story time as well this video might be all over the place but please just bear with me please i beg you bear with me all right so first of i just want us to relax because i'm going to be just in so first of all, I'm going to be talking about, you know, a while ago, I was doing Vlogmas, as we all know, but I missed some days. So I just want to carry us along on some of the things that I was going through, not really going through, but some of the things that really made me, you know, relax and take a seat back. So yeah, one of the things was, it's just, I don't know, I feel like there are times in our lives where we have this emotional ups and downs where you just, you know, just want to stay lie low and you know you're just tired you're like mm -mm, let me take a break so yeah i was going through one of those phases yeah i was you know when you think that things are going some certain way and then it just takes a turn and you're like why did this have to happen you know and if i feel like as a kind of person, kind of person i am i'm kind of person who a lot of things happen to me but i just mask them like i mask my emotions i don't show it sometimes when i'm supposed to break down and cry i just hold it on i think i'm gonna share more on this in another video on you know things that actually happen that we don't know so this year i've gone through it like a lot of things has happened <laughs> it's been like so crazy but in all i still give god all the glory because yeah without him i won't be here so i still thank god because despite everything i'm still waxing stronger and stronger and we are still growing into a better a better person so yeah that time i just had to you know take a break take a step down take a step back and i'm like okay you know i'm not doing this let me just relax because <laughs> i don't keep it straight. yeah so that's by the way on what happened there basically hear the noise please kindly ignore it's my cousin, my niece and my nephew so that's by the way on that so i'm gonna just leave that outside now i'm going to move on to talking about you know this is for everybody this is for people who have actually traveled out i don't know if it's something that i should be bringing up here but i feel like a lot of nigerians are going to see this and i feel like it's something that i need to talk about so it's about we who are in diaspora and puts like that or who we have who are jackma so yeah i know that when i was in nigeria i had people obviously who were in the us uk and all of those things and i can remember maybe because of the kind of upbringing that i have or the kind of parent that i have or the kind of life that i have i was not one to you know go about and be asking for things let me put it that way so i'm not saying that you know you cannot ask your friends for things but when it comes to people who you don't even talk to or people who don't even you know who don't even come through for you or who you as in i don't really know how to put this thing but it's like these people don't care about you but the fact that you are now abroad in quotes 
you see them coming you know listing out things now i'm not saying that you know i can't help or my family can't help or i can't send help to people but this feeling of being this feeling of entitlement like as if you owe them or you you are working for these people now i want to i'm not saying that this is happening to me i'm not saying people are coming to my dms so happy for whatever or anything i'm just showing it out because i've heard a lot of stories and it's so bad to the extent that these people feel like they are entitled to your money it doesn't work that way now a lot of people are like oh at least you've traveled abroad you are making more money i feel like they don't remember or they don't think to the fact that this money we are making we are spending in the same currency what do i mean by that i'm making my money in dollars i'm also spending in dollars i'm paying bills in dollars i'm feeding myself in that same price like it's not like i'm making money in dollars and i'm spending in naira that's not the case now i saw a tweet a, like on instagram or so and the person was like oh i am um, a colleague of theirs wanted to get married and this is their friend who was in uk it's her ex-colleague this is her friend who was in uk sent is this two thousand naira or four thousand naira that's like let me say two dollars or four dollars i don't know how much it is in pounds so people were like kind of ranting that why would somebody in uk spend that kind of money i'll be sending that kind of money to them and the truth about this matter is number one is that ex this person is an ex ex colleague of the person we might not even know each other we might not even be on the same rapport level so why would you expect me to foot or to sponsor your wedding or to send all my savings on your wedding two this person that you guys are seeing, I'm like, oh, he's in UK. When we in Nigeria say we want to travel abroad, we say we're going to look for what's greener pastures. It's not like when we now get there, this greener pastures is already there for us to just start, to, like, you know, it's not as if we're just plucking money on the tree. This thing is like, we work per hours, fine. We make the money per hour. Taxes are, are the tax are usually taken from those money. You have to pay your bills. We pay. Okay, so one funny thing I, don't, I think people don't really know is when I was in Nigeria, though I didn't pay rent because I live in my father's house, like my father built the house. But we pay rent yearly. We pay, I think, apart from light bills and other bills, which is monthly, rent is actually yearly. But here in America, or I think, yeah, let me talk about where I know. Here in America, we pay our rent every month, not even per year, every month. And that money, they are. <laughs> If you even know the amount we used to pay, but I'm not saying that. Okay, fine. I know that, you know, life is a bit easier. But this feeling of entitlement that people have on we that we are in diaspora is like, do you realize that we also we are in, let me say, stress? Because sometimes it's like people just come with all sorts of billions. Like after, from like... <laughs> Some of them will come at a point, you know, I have this thing I want to do, can, can you send me money, can you, okay, fine, we send. They will like, okay, let me take a chill break. They will come back again with another responsibility. And we're like, do you even realize that we, who are here, we are trying to still make ends meet. We are trying to, you know, get to a point in our life, to better our life, to get to a certain point or a start, certain stage of our lives. Funny enough, most people who are in diaspora they don't want their papers like they can't even move around they can't do things they want to do they are still trying to save up money to get their papers to get their school done to pay, they are paying bills are you are there coming and uh, come and do this one for me come and do that one for me. do you know how they are surviving do you know what they are because they are putting on fine clothes or because okay fine obviously the country is good you can get easy things around but do you know how they are making or missing I don't want to just get to <laughs> but it's like I, I feel like we need to take a chill pill because these people most people in nigeria that are asking people in diaspora for money or for things are actually living better than those in the diaspora in in, in question or in, in in quotes because you don't know what they are going through so you and i understand the fact that okay some people might be friends like okay this is family this is but people that when we're even in Nigeria, we don't to talk. Or when we're even in the Nigeria, I ask you for money or ask you to, for help or one thing, you shun me or you know, we don't have this relationship. But now that we are in diaspora, you are asking us for help, you are coming to our DMs, you are doing this, you are doing like it's just not it's like I feel like we need to take a chill pill, we need to stop, we need to rethink things, we need to be considerate. Don't don't feel too entitled to people's things. 
like this is this person's money if this person decides to send to you fine if it doesn't decide to send to you fine and i know that apart from that there are some people that they are in that for that they are stingy i'm not gonna dispute that fact but still whether or not the person decides to give you don't be don't feel entitled to this thing and when somebody that helps you or decides to help you appreciate don't don't keep coming back like don't i don't know how to really say because i feel like it's not selfish on the part of those okay so let me just quickly say this like for example okay um this christmas period i saw a lot of things this christmas was even so weird so i saw a lot of things i saw one posted posting on a timeline on a story that okay one to one thing christmas gifts things that i want one to maybe 10 or 20 i can't remember listing out things money laptop you know just under bags whatever thing that person might have needed but then a question kept to my came to my mind and i'm like if people actually give you this thing, what do you have to offer back? Because I know that this life is not about, okay, do want to, like, it's not about, okay, I'm giving you something for me to collect back. But the Bible says, give and shall be given unto you. If you don't give, why do you expect people to give to you? Like, you are just want to be a collector, you want to be a, a collector, you want to be a beggar. You can't rise. You can't rise. Me, as a person, I don't have it all. Even when I was in Nigeria, I didn't, how much was I earning? But I'm um, somebody who loves to give. And I trust, I know that, that that's one of the truth. God has been blessing because even his Bible says the word of God says, Give and shall be given unto you in good measure, spread down, shaken together, etc. 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 If you are giving, you will definitely receive in multiple folds, even in places that you don't expect. But when you are always receiving, receiving, there's one thing I've actually learned long time ago. Someone wants you, someone wants to give you something. The person giving you and the person giving you is or hand will be up while you we are receiving your hand will be down. So do you always want to be down forever? Like, please, I just don't know. I really wish, I really hope that the way I've spoken, a lot of people are like, I will, I wish or I pray that we're going to actually understand that you know I feel like that's one of the reasons why people in diaspora have actually cut off a lot of people because they are always here. People just come and be, you know, ah, you are fresh now, come and do this, come and do this. Like, what impact do you as a person who have in the life of the person that also give you money? I went one story to somebody asked for money and they gave them twenty thousand or something. And the person was ranting, ah, is it only twenty thousand naira? The person can give me as you are in America or you are in UK or whatever. Do you know how many hours person has to work to get that? Even if person is not working, how many hours? I, like the little things, I don't know. But let me leave that aside. So let me see. Let me see. My camera is still shooting. Before we move on to the question and answer session. <sighs> all right so i know i said that you know this video might be too long but please uh, accept it with me so i'll be answering some of the questions let me start from the beginning so i first said obviously the q a so alaya174 i hope i'm pronouncing the names very well asked that with my favorite celebrity hmm. okay as a proud person that i am <laughs> I'm going to say my favorite celebrities myself because I see myself as a celebrity here with 1,000 followers, like, period. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all so much. Let me use that opportunity to say thank you so, so much. 1,000 and over for people who have subscribed to me. I really love you guys. I see all that you guys do. Anyway, so my favorite celebrity, I won't really say I have this favorite celebrity because I'm not one who is really, like, freaked out on people or on humans. Because like I said, I don't mean, think I'll call this my celebrity because if I see you outside, I might just move on. Like, I'm not freaked out. I'm not obsessed. So, I don't think I have a favorite celebrity. But people that I like, I don't know, honestly. Like, I'm not thinking of any. But I feel like you are cool. And I feel like it depends on the season. Because one moment, I might like you. I might watch your content. And the next period, it might be someone else. So, I don't really think... I have a favorite celebrity, but let me know if you have a favorite celebrity. Let me know in the comment section. Maybe I might like the person. I can't remember, but if I would remember, I'll mention somebody. So, who is your idol YouTuber? This is by G V. -V I'll put the name. <laughs> yeah. So, who is your idol YouTuber? Hmm. My idol YouTuber, myself. <laughs> Anyways, my idol YouTube, I think, let me just say people that I like, I won't really say idol, but people that I like, I really love Beta Squad, is it Beta Squad, yeah, Beta Squad from UK, those set guys that do, that create content, yeah, I really love their videos, I love Laifa Editomo, yeah, she's a YouTuber, a Nigerian makeup artist, 
or a Lagos makeup artist based in Nigeria, Lagos. Yeah, I like. I used to like Liza, but it's been a while. I've watched her. I'm not really like I said. I'm not really somebody who, who idolizes people or you know go crazy about people. I might like what you do for a while and then move on to the next and move on to the next, depending on my mood or whatever I'm at at the moment. Yeah. So, what is my biggest dream? Okay, so my biggest dream, I would say my biggest dream is to, get, is to go to heaven, but I'm definitely going to heaven. So is that like a dream? But let's say you're going to heaven, but if that's not a dream, my biggest dream here on earth is to be successful in life. Just be successful, you know, have my own business. I have a plan, a dream of owning my own investment, which I know that that is going to happen very soon. So let me say that's my biggest dream, making my mommy proud, my family proud, you know getting married i don't know my dreams are a lot so i can't say good when one is the biggest but just be live a successful life live a fulfilled life a blessed life be an impact to people and to others yeah <laughs> where do you wish to visit one day where do i wish to visit i will even say I'm a, I'm a person who travels but let me see maybe where i wish to visit one day maybe dubai or the Maldives. I don't know anywhere that is shall fine, anywhere that is good. That's where I want to visit. I don't really have one because I feel like I don't want to be obsessed or have this passion to go somewhere in a certain period of time. And if it doesn't work out, and I'll be sad. But I feel like there are a lot of cool places that you know I don't mind going to. <laughs> so I don't think I have where I wish wish to visit one day, like somewhere very okay. Maybe where I wish to visit one day is heaven, and I will still visit there and live there. So let's leave it at that. All right, do you have insecurities and how do you deal with it? This is a very good question. Question. Yes, guys, I do have insecurities and I feel like everybody has one or two or three or many insecurities. So, of course, I have insecurities, like I said. I, I just feel like, okay, so I don't know if I actually want to share the insecurities that I have, but I can share some of it, but I feel like it's not necessary but some of the insecurities i have i don't think it's insecurities anymore okay let me say some of the insecurities i have or one major one that i have is maybe my height but that's not really an insecurity for me it just depends on the on my mood and where i am going at that moment but let me say my height so how do i do with it so right from when i was young i used to have a lot of insecurities i used to think i was not beautiful i used to think that you know my life was not good you know a lot of things that you know things are going on you see this girl or you have a crush and if this crush likes this girl you're like why why am i not as beautiful as this girl but it's like many years down the line i'm getting the girl and i'm like i'm actually more funner than this girl <laughs> so yeah so how do i do with my insecurities i feel like i just own it i own it because an insecurity becomes an insecurity if you feel like it's an insecurity let me say that again. An insecurity would be an insecurity if you feel it's an insecurity. Now, what do I mean by that? It simply means that you would only you would only tag something as bad if you call it bad, or people will help you call something bad if you call it bad. There are a lot of people who are not, you know, beautiful or okay. Don't let me say that. Okay, so there, are, you know, it depends on how you put yourself out to people. That's how they would accept you. If you put yourself down, people will put you down. But if you give yourself, you put yourself up, and you like walk into a room with your shoulders high, you you know, own it, people would have no right to put you down. And that was one thing I realized. Where, when I started owning up on my beauty, I started owning up on how I am, how God has made me, you know, it just made everything easier for me. Because it's like, this thing is part of me. It's going nowhere. Like, it is going nowhere. This is who I am. If it's something that I can change, I will try to change it. But if it's something that this is who I am, then I just own it and move on with my life. So, yeah. Everybody has insecurities, just own it and move on, move past it. Like, try to get used to it and make yourself a better person. Is that a good answer? <laughs> I guess so. All right, so this person, I make a video answer the question. Yes, I'm doing that right now. So, with my style inspiration, ah, that one is far away. I don't know because. <laughs> I have my own style inspiration because I don't know. I really don't know. I don't look at somebody as okay, this is what I want to dress like. But one thing I just do is I look at people who have similar body style or body shape like me or you know physique like myself and i just try to mimic that but that's not what i do often like i don't do that a lot of times i just if i come across something like that I'm like, oh this actually looks good i can plan for that in the future but not that you know i'm trying to 
you know match up this person's energy or this person's style every day i don't do that so my style inspiration i don't know so <laughs> who is my favorite youtuber i want to do a collaboration with ah that's actually good i think i would love to do one with bitter squad yeah i don't know for what but i would love to see this video one day <laughs> i would love to do it with them and my i don't know maybe with laifa beauty as well laifa maybe some more maybe one time maybe someday if i go back to nigeria or she comes to the us i would love to you know collaborate with her um, and i'm actually open to collaborations just dm me my email let me know if you are here in the us you know anywhere we can link up and make a, a video all right what's my motivation in life oh this is a very sweet question my motivation in life i think it is or it will be rewards or what i tend to gain at the end of that goal so i'm a kind of person who looks at what is ahead of me to keep me going i don't know if that makes sense so if for example i'm going to school because i know i'm going to get a degree at the end of it so that is my motivation or i know okay if i keep doing this i would probably get money or get paid at the end of it then that keeps me going but sometimes i just keep going because i feel like i'm a tough tough person you know when the going gets tough only tough people get going so there are sometimes that there's no even reward at the end of it all but you just know that you have to do it because if you don't do it somebody else won't you understand so i feel like that is my motivation the reward and because I want to be a bigger person like a better person you understand so that's my motivation so what is your secret for having a beautiful hair so <laughs> i don't know this question is like has this person seen my hair before but anyways i won't say my hair is my is one of my insecurities but no i have a beautiful hair because i'm owning it it is my hair so yeah the secret to having a beautiful hair is owning it is my hair i'm trying i'm learning day by day on how to you know understand my hair understand what it needs so yeah i think one day i'm gonna do like a, an air video so i cut my hair in april sometime in april when i was having one of those mental <laughs> no no i'm just kidding but actually i had my hair cut in april so it's just growing back and yeah maybe one day i'm gonna share my hair Air what air recipe air whatever sometimes so so what is your daily skincare ritual so you guys my daily skincare ritual if it's daily i don't really think i have one that i do daily but i have a skincare ritual you understand that is one thing that has actually been pushing me like that. i've not really been able to do a skincare routine video but i want to do that next year by god's grace by god's special grace i'm going to do that next year a lot of people have been commenting on this skin 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 so my skin is my skin is okay let me say the weather in america is good so the weather is making my skin to glow and good camera and good lighting so my skin is fine glory be to god hallelujah so but one day i must do my skincare routine it's not something crazy not something much just one or two or three things that i am using and it's easy to get please excuse any noise that you hear in the background now if this is the final question i think if it could be someone else for one day who would it be and why if i could be someone else for one day so this question i don't really know honestly i'm happy the way i am i'm not gonna lie to you because nobody has it all you might be looking at some people from the from you know far distance and you're like oh this person has it all this person's life is perfect but to when you step into that person's shoes before you realize that nobody has it all like what you feel like you don't have somebody else has it or when you feel like somebody else doesn't have you have it you know so i feel like i'm cool the way i am if god just blesses me and you know my relationship with god grows more you know i understand my mission on earth i understand my purpose i'm you know trying to i'm fulfilling it i'm going towards the right direction i don't think i want to be someone else but just for the purpose of this question if i want to be someone else for one day who would it be and why who, who can i who can i choose who can i choose guys for real i'm not even capping i don't know honestly who if i could be someone else for one day if i could be someone else for one day it's so hard to, to think of like i don't think i want to be somebody else maybe when i was younger everybody asked me this question but now i don't think i want to be anybody else I'm, i love i love who i am i love the position that i'm in 
so i'm sorry if i couldn't answer that question i don't know maybe some other some other time if i if i realize i'll let you guys know what as of now so we're done with that question and answer segment all right i told you guys this is gonna be long so just bear with me and enjoy it as it goes so now we're going to the unboxing i'm excited about the unboxing video i'm sure you are excited as All well right. so i don't know where to start from but some of the gifts i've opened some i have not opened some are still the way they gave it to me so i'm going to just show you guys one after the other i'm excited i'm a gift person now merry christmas somebody asked in the comment section of my christmas but i like did i get did i receive any gifts but yeah i did so i wanted to compile everything some gifts are still on the way but i can't wait for that so i have to do this and let this video go out before the year runs out because also tomorrow being the 30th of december my program is going to be live guys make sure you join i don't know if it'll be up by then but just join and i hope you join i'm going to try to put it upload it as well so you guys should watch if you are not able to join can you watch it as well so let's dive right into this unboxing so the first gift i got is from my friend Webster. so webster got me this outfit it's actually a pants and a shirt this is a pants and point is she got herself a set too so we're gonna be swinging whenever we do it i'm going to show you with a picture so yeah i have somebody that i'm doing couples outfits with so she got me this set it's very nice it looks very cute on me and very soon i'm going to put it on you should, should watch out all right so another gift let me open this one so this gift I got it from my boss. My boss got it for me. My boss gave it to me, guys. I have the sweetest boss in the whole world. I don't know if she watches my video, but maybe someday if she does, she's just the best. She's the best ever. I'm going to drop a link. She kindly shop with us, mayotsi.com. So she got me this. This is our brand, though. I'm already wearing brand, and uh, what's it called? Yeah, big brand color. I don't know what this one is called. This is called B Max. Ma you know this is it don't let me bite myself so yeah got me these this nice pair of shoes and there's a dress in there as well she gave me a dress too hey guys can you see can you see see guys big girl yeah she got me this with the shoes and this as well you'll see can you people see? Can you see? Can you see what I'm singing? Like, get yourself a good book and thank me later. So this is what is in here. Can you all see? So pretty. It's so nice. So, you people will see. Anyways, before I move on, so can you watch this video of some of the gifts my star got for me too? Can you watch it? this oh you're the sweetest my sister so i'll be feeling so down today and <laughs> oh that's i'm like crying so oh let me stop my camera this feels like she know my face how i look so oh god oh god <laughs> so i'll be feeling kind of down and so we got those i just sit so like as we got inside and then i saw i opened the truck i was like you still have things to carry i was just in my own world i just went upstairs so i saw her carry some pink pink things i thought okay ah maybe they gave her stuff from work and all and then i was lying down on the couch just now i saw her to carry gifts bag i'm like what's happening i don't something told me that i wait to have this for me i just stuff and then look at my bundle of joy you guys you guys <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> why did you guys do this? I was about to cry. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I hope you like them though. I will. Like, that was taking my picture. Oh, you're more shama. Thank you, baby. Come, baby. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> oh, sweetie. I love you. 
I'm a gift person and it just came at the right I, I feel like even if it's one of the smallest of things like it just came at the right moment it came I love this too eh? Eh? let me go on no. you all aren't ready you aren't ready Woo! you love them you people you guys, you have already. ready, yo. Uh -huh. I have your sister, I have a sister like mine. Because you can't, you couldn't. Uh -huh. I love them so much. Hey. I'm so sorry. Now into the plane. Some days clearly missing. Two only face him. Oh, I see boob mask. Bum mask. Oh. Face man, I'm not thinking. You guys are the final box. This is all I saw I carry from the trunk. And in my mind I was like, okay, maybe it's a gift for the office. Cause she just you know be quiet, please. Because she just gave some gifts out so i thought some people got i gifts that was what was on my mind like you see you are actually cute ah! <laughs> you guys are not ready you all are not ready <laughs> oh my god it's so oh god you guys are not ready. <laughs> I went from zero to one million. <laughs> one million. Shake it, baby. Don't make it. Hey, hey. Eh, I just said that. Eh, 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 talking and the video went off but yeah we are rolling again so i got this one i'm in the children's church department in my church and they gave us this for christmas thank you so much the leadership of the children's church i really appreciate it so it's a vacuum flask set so i was talking about how discipline i am this period that so many of these things that i got i didn't open them like the day they gave it to me i just went to keep it down mm -mm. i'm going to make a video of it so yeah some of it i've opened some i've not opened some i've just it's just the way i was given that i brought it here so i already opened this earlier one this is the flask it's very nice so when i start using it if you see me using it don't get jealous okay yeah so thank you so much for that so another thing so we did a um what's it called secret santa stuff in my church which is like uh, we did in children's church and also in choir so this is what i got from children's church please if you are seeing this video and you, you are the one that chose me as secret santa please let me know if you know me because maybe i'll see that ask in church i don't know who chose me like i just want to say thank you 
yeah so the person wrote my name and i got it last week sunday so i'm up to today i'm not open it guys it's self control for me so let's open it and see what's in there but i think it's a bag it feels like a bag and it looks like a bag so let's see there are some people <laughs> i love opening this or packing this oh this <gasps> But yeah, there's a card in here. <gasps> Thank you, Jesus. I'm really worried that who is this person? Let me see. Oh, see, I'm, I'm now clumsy. I hope it's somebody that I know. The true gifts of Christmas are for the heart to enjoy. Oh, from Sister Omoa. Do I know who this person is? I need to go and find out. I'm not sure. Oh, Sister Omo, Bola, Dave, and family. May God's love always bless you. His joy always fill you. His presence always keep you close to all that is good. Wishing you God's best at Christmas and in the new year. Thank you so much, Sister Omo. God bless you so much. This is very pretty. Like, I'm just opening it today. I need to go for this first thing on Sunday. And tell a very big thank you. You guys, I need, like, oh, Thanksgiving Sunday about to be lit. It's about to be lit. This final Sunday, guys, for period. Like, thank you so, so much. Ah, I'm excited. I have a Calvin Klein bag. Oh, my God. It's one of my best brands, actually. I love CK a lot. All right. So, the Christmas home, what I got from my um, choir department was this, or is this. So, this person chose me to brought Toby. Thank you so much. I know you are the one. <laughs> Thank you so much, bro. Toby. God bless you so much for this beautiful gift. Guys, when I got this gift, I was like, wow. Like, just wow. So, you guys should see. Like, just see. Oh, see. You people should see. See how they are preparing me for Christmas. Like, this is just so beautiful. Imagine me not have used this. Like, I need to show you people. You people are special to me. Thank you so much, bro. Toby. Like, is it the color? Is it this? <laughs> You are making me feel like a baby girl, bro. Toby, thank you. God bless you. And that's not all. He also gave me this. He also got me this beautiful earbuds, guys. This Christmas, they sh they wanted me to be happy. Like they know what I like, and it came for, and they gave it to me, like all around. Thank you so much once again, bro. Toby, I really appreciate. It. Now I can finally open this and start using it and show my YouTube family. Like glory be to God. Ah, this air is my mouth wants to feature. All right, so I've come to the end of the unboxing, I guess. I feel so, yeah. So, just some people say they promised me gifts, but I'm not bothered. <laughs> I have more than enough already for Christmas. Thank you all so much. God will bless you guys. Like, this po the pockets from which all of these gifts have come from, it will not run dry in the name of Jesus. You will go from glory to glory. You go from you go higher and higher in the name of Jesus. By next year, you will not be in the same place where... You have this year in the name of Jesus. You will be elevated. You would have, you know, you would you would surpass your peers in all that you do in the name of Jesus. The Lord prays for you. The Lord will keep you. The Lord will guide you in the name of Jesus. You will not do a better yesterday in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Jesus. Name. I really love my gifts. I can't wait to arrange them and start using them. Thank you also, my love, sweet see. All right. On to the next. Okay, now on to the main gist of the day. We'll be talking about the giveaway, the giveaway, the giveaway, the giveaway. So, guys, today is the 29th, I guess. Yeah, today's 29th of December, and the giveaway is less than two days. By the time I post this video, I think it might be over, but I don't know because I'm going to post it either tomorrow or on Sunday, depending on how well I quickly edit it, but latest on Sunday. So, so the giveaway ends on the 31st by 6 p.m. or let me say 12 a.m. of New Year. Let me just leave it at that. So we won't be doing the live on January 1st like I had hoped. Reason being that, number one, 
it's new year's day i feel like a lot of people will be busy with their families a lot of people might not be able to show up or turn up for the live yes that is one reason the other reason is that guys i've not had time to tally the whole you know subscription the comments because i want to be very detailed i want to write everybody's name one one after the other write the amount of comments they gave me the amount of you know subscription everything but i know that there are a lot of people who have really really tried like i wanted to i'm picking just three people hundred dollars for three people hundred dollars for three people but i know god i know that you know it's gonna be spectacular so the live won't be going on on january 1st like i promised but i promise you guys it's going to come on definitely in the first week of january it's going to come up in the first week of january so i'm going to definitely let you know i'm going to drop a post on when the live show is going to hold so that we are all ready but i want to make sure that i already have all of the details calculated i'm going to go back to the very from the video where we started because some people went as far as my first video to comment so i'm going to have to go back and check and you know make sure that you know everything is well detailed and there are no errors so yeah as long as soon as i finish that i'm definitely gonna drop a post on my youtube to let you guys know when the live will be coming up i'm thinking of picking a very convenient time for everybody it's gonna be on the weekend hopefully where everybody can participate in the giveaway in the you know announcement of the winner so what else what else what else so thank you guys so much for this year thank you so much 2023 is over and i hope to see you guys 2024 with bigger plans with bigger horse like we're going to we're moving forward we're going greater and greater you know this new year is going to be fabulous it's going to be superb it's going to be awesome yes the lord would keep his his, his face and he's going to just protect us and grant us every of our testimonies every of our dreams every wishes that we've hoped for every of our prayers that we've been praying for if that's going to answer according to his will yes that is that about that i hope i'm not leaving anything out so thank you guys so much for your support thank you guys for your love thank you guys for your commitment i don't know what to say i really wish i can host a party right now for everybody but fingers crossed there is nothing god cannot do there's nothing god cannot do so yeah we have come to the end of this beautiful long video please make sure you watch it from the beginning to the end make sure you like make sure you comment make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel i love you guys see you in my next video drop your comments i'm definitely gonna respond i have a lot of instagram comments i'm gonna respond to but i'm going to respond to each and every one of them trust me i just wake up one day pick up my i'm gonna respond to everything thank you all so much for watching see you 2024 in my next video i love you guys peace Mwah. hello guys welcome back or no no welcome back but so i just got from church like few minutes ago so i thought this that was the last video for the year i already shot the video so i just got new gifts <laughs> I'm so loved, like, and I love the people as well. So I got two more gifts today from church. So I decided to quickly show you guys and compile the videos. Today's 31st of January, 2023. So I have to, oh, <laughs> sorry, 31st of December, 2023. So I need to quickly make this video, compile it with the one I have already so I can upload it for you guys as soon as possible. Yeah, so let me show you guys the, video, the, the gifts. So, uh, so I got this beautiful package gift, Merry Christmas, from my children's church um, leader. Yes, yeah, she's like a sister. She's not even like she's a sister to me. She, if you watched my live video yesterday, thank you all so much for those who watched this. So yeah, she was one of the. She was the lady who spoke to the um teenagers about purpose on why we are here on earth so if you have not watched that live video you can go to watch it for those who were live i really appreciate you guys i really really appreciate you guys so yeah she got she gave me this yeah according to her she said somebody gave it to her to give it to her 12 disciples and yeah, it's such a privilege to be counted as one of our disciples like that's a very high rank or high 
position to be put in so i really appreciate you my god bless you my visit this video i really appreciate you may god bless you in jesus name so yeah this is just this is what is in there some cookies so my people's mouth will not run dry to see this beard. yeah and then this cookie as well i really love it thank you so much once again so i don't want this video to be too long because the one i already have is already very long <laughs> So yeah, this is the other video. Why do I keep saying other video? This is the other gift. So this, I don't know if I should put the name out there, but it was given to me by John. Thank you so much, John. I really appreciate. I'm yet to open it. I've been trying to take a peek of it actually because I'm not that much of a patient person when it comes to gifts. And the good thing is this gift, like guys, it was so heavy when he gave it to me. And the box is so fine. Pink. Yo, see ya. This Christmas is like one of my best Christmas is because I'm not receiving gifts left and right. Yeah, so let me hurry up. Okay, so the first thing I can see or I can pick up from this is this um, sweater. It's actually very cute. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I love it. All right, so I don't know if you noticed I changed the camera, but just bear with me, stick with me. So this is the second thing in the package, guys. Hey, John, 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 John. This is actually very nice. It says, I'm trying to, Love and Light is a musical water globe, guys. <laughs> it's so nice, guys. Oh, yo! It's in, I don't know how to operate this, but I'm gonna figure it out. This is so cute, guys! Thank you so much, John. I really, I love this. I really do. Ah, this is all. okay. All right, up next. Okay, this is the hat for the um sweater. It's actually nice. It is not much. And what else is this a gift card? I don't even know. I think it is. I think it's a gift card. I'm not sure. I don't really know how it works. So I think it's a gift card. Thank you so much, John. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What else? All right. See you guys next year. Let me edit this video and send it out to you guys. I really love you. Let's watch this video. So, you guys, I think tomorrow or at the end, I think today, after this video goes out, I'm going to post in a picture on my Instagram. Please, guys, go like it. So, that is the video you'll be spelling out my name on. Because I see a lot of people are spelling my name out on YouTube, which is actually good. But we're going to do that on Instagram. So, I'm going to be posting a picture, a very beautiful picture of mine, just to say thank you as it is the last day, last Sunday of the year of the month so i'm going to be posting it you guys should go like or comment so go do whatever you want to do with it go share i love you guys see you next year peace Mwah.